Harrison is the fastest growing community in Hamilton County, and managing that growth is one of the most important issues the city faces today. Mayor Joel McGuire knows that, and he has tackled the issue head on. Harrison's in a growth phase. It's been inevitable since I-74 came through, and uh, it's finally starting to reach us due to saturation in surrounding counties and Indiana's business development effort. One important move McGuire made in his first term was to hire an economic development director. Jennifer Eakey has played a key role in retaining current Harrison businesses and in recruiting businesses that are a good fit for the community. And diversity is a huge part in that recruiting effort. We identified medical, office, educational, light manufacturing, and utility developments as the five types of business developments that would be a good fit here. When I say that it's just like diversifying your stock portfolio, I mean, uh, you, when tough times hit, they usually hit one sector harder than another. And if you're overly you know, uh, involved in the area that's hit hard, you're just going to be devastated. Whereas if you're diversified, uh, the net loss of jobs and the net uh, impact on your community is less. There are many different ideas about how to handle Harrison's growth, but so far McGuire's managed approach is working well. And that's a big reason why we uh, maintain surpluses, we've had a net increase in jobs and a whole bunch of other positive effects that flew from that as a result of uh, those efforts right in the middle of recession. When most uh, communities have had to cut back on those kind of things and had to make drastic cuts, increase taxes, cut services, things like that. And people are noticing. Area newspapers have highlighted Harrison's growth in tough economic times. And businesses are expanding and moving here. How that growth is managed will have a huge impact on other areas too. If we handled that growth management issue correctly, all the other problems we have here are going to be easy to solve. Fixing roads is going to, are going to happen more often. Uh, you know, police and fire can be increased as, as we grow bigger without having to increase taxes if we do economic development right. It's extending water and sewer lines is going to be easy if we do economic development right. If we don't do economic development right or growth management correct, all of those things, police, fire, public safety, public works, public finance, is going to be even harder to deal with. McGuire knows retail and residential growth is important too, and that will continue as long as the right businesses are here. McGuire's managed approach is modeled after other successful communities nearby, and it separates him from the other candidates. But you have to get involved. It's a real, it's a real issue in this campaign because I, I think I'm the only candidate that believes in a proactive, involved um, approach by the city in that whole process. There's another point of view which is a real laissez-faire approach, which is that the only role of government, local government, is to just provide police and fire services and uh, things will turn out how they're going to turn out as far as businesses go. That distinction among communities um, is what turns somebody into a Coleraine Avenue and turns somebody into a Blue Ash, Westchester, Mason, or somebody like that. McGuire was born and raised in Harrison, so he knows what people like about living here, and he wants to keep it that way. Again, because you can't stop the growth. The communities that tried to stop it just turned into a disaster. But the ones that tried to manage it, they usually did so. My goal was to manage it and still keep so we grow, but still keep the small town feel.